So now let's see how we can work around with text inside of Microsoft Paint. So to work around with text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto the top where you see this little A icon. If I were to click on it, then I got text. If I were to click here, you can see that a text box is made and I can simply type out according to how I like. I can resize the text box into uh, how I like as well. So let's say I'm just going to type in this is a sentence just like this sentence. And then what I can do is I can resize this. I can move this around by clicking on the dotted edges or I can change around how this looks and you can see that it wraps around. So let's say I want to increase out the font. So I'm going to go around select this. What I can do is I can select out the font size I want. So sentence, so I am missing an N, so I'm just going to type in N, resize this out to make it like this. Now, what I'm going to do is, let's say, make it larger. Or you can go around on and type in the value of the text as well. So if I were to select all of this, I can go around and type in something like 50, and this is how it looks. I can click and drag this around, and this is how it looks. I can select this and bold this out, italicize it out, underline this out or strike it through as well. You can go around into transparent or opaque. So if I were to select opaque or transparent, nothing uh, much is seen as of now. So no change is seen. So I'm just going to go around, click on this. And now what happens in pain is that once you click outside, this is not a text anymore. So if I were to go around and let's say, uh, paint the T out, you can see that it gets filled separately. So now I'm not able to select or edit the text. I can type on top of it and it is turned into a graphics. So now the, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to the text tool again. I'm going to, let's say, for example, type in test and I'm going to select another color. For that, I'm going to select all of this and select the color and the color is applied. If I were to keep it here, this is what happens. This is transparent right now. But if I were to click on opaque, then what happens is that it gets filled out with the background color. So I can go around to background color, select any other color as per my choice. So that acts as a background color for the opaque option. I can go around and click on transparent to make it transparent or click on opaque to make it opaque just like this. And that is how you can work around with text inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.